My brain will just pull everything perfectly. I'm like, wow, this is crazy. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little first impressions or first testings with oxyracetam and anaracetam. Now, if you look online, they say that these supplements are very, very safe. Most of the time when people take them, they a lot of times they don't even feel anything or if they do, it's very, very slight, um, very like almost oh, nobody will report any crazy side effects or like any unpleasantries. Um, they're supposed to be taken with choline. So sometimes people say, if you don't take them with choline, you're gonna have some issues, but Personally, the strongest racetam that they say is phenylparacetam, and I first got into that, and I just absolutely love phenylparacetam. It's my absolute favorite. I don't really need to take it with that much choline. I think it's one of the only racetams that acts on the dopamine receptor too. I think the other ones are just mainly choline. So I loved the phenylparacetam. So I was like, oh, let's try out these other racetams, kind of just see, you know, maybe when I'm not taking the phenylparacetam, I could take these for a little while. Some people will talk about like, oh, you should attack dose of the anaracetam, which means take a big dose at once and then to try to get it into your system and then you feel it more things like that from my experience i find that anaracetam and oxyracetam are actually pretty similar uh, i kind of get the same type of like effects off them to be honest they're very very light from the testing that i've done I keep feeling like I haven't tested them a lot, but I probably tested them both five to 10 times. And initially I was trying like higher doses, but I don't know if you saw, I actually had a very, very, very bad reaction to one of the racetams. I didn't know what it was. I was taking a lot of the phenylparacetam and then I went right into the oxy and the anaracetam. And I thought it was just everything. I couldn't tell what it was, but now I can almost guarantee you that it's the anaracetam and the oxyracetam. And I know they have different mechanisms of action. From my understanding, um, anaracetam Racetam's main effect is that it lasts like an hour, and uh, I think oxyracetam lasts about two to three hours. And one of them's water soluble, the other one's not, um, things like that. I just can kind of take them whenever, you know, I don't really try to take it with food or not. I just take it whenever I want to take it. Usually I'll mix it with another, like, so I'll put like a superfood on one half of the pill and then the racetams on the other side. But so when I was taking them a lot, when I did have that kind of like psychosis, my brain was working very, very, very good. But it was weird because it's kind of hard to tell that your brain's working good until you like really, really think about it. But for me, I just feel really kind of weird when I take them. Um, I feel almost nothing. And then if I start taking more, I get lots of side effects really quick. And I almost feel kind of like anxious, um, a little bit jittery. I just really don't like the feeling, which is kind of weird because, and I do take it with choline. So everyone's telling me it's like, you know, make sure to take it with choline. I do take it with choline. But what's weird is that phenylparacetam is supposed to be this strong powerhouse. You're not supposed to take it every day. I could handle so much more of the phenylparacetam than oxyracetam or anaracetam, just for me personally. Now, anaracetam is supposed to be, I think, like I said, much lighter. I think it lasts like, only like an hour. It's supposed to have like some anti-anxiety qualities. Um, again, I know when I take these a lot, my brain ends up working really, really, really well. Um, I'll be like tired and somebody will ask me some complex question. I'll be like, you know, this is too much to answer at once because it's too complex and my brain will just pull everything perfectly. I'm like, wow, this is crazy, you know? When I'll be um, shooting a video, I'll notice that I'm hitting all these complex words perfectly. I'm not stuttering, I'm not overthinking. So they really do have that effect. But for me, I get these side effects so quickly on them and I'm just, I just, the little benefits that I get, it just quickly are get outweighed by the side effects that I have. And again, people are gonna tell me, you know, a bunch of things are the issues. I think like some of these people get effects on at very, very, very low doses. So maybe I'm somebody who needs to take like 50 or 100 milligrams and that's it, I don't know. Um, I do find that the oxyracetam is, is probably the worst, most agitating one. And I have seen other nootropics YouTubers kind of say the same thing, that it kind of just turns you into the Terminator. And then on top of that, um, oxyracetam, from my understanding, is supposed to release these choline spots within your brain or like you have stored choline in your body and it just forces it to be released. So I don't know, to me, your body has those backup choline sources for a reason. It's kind of like dumping all the body's extra choline. And again, this is why you take choline with it. I think oxyracetam would be something that you should take kind of when you need it. It's something I really wouldn't 
expect people to take every day. Uh, some people take aniracetam every day, um, a lot actually. It seems to work for them, but to me, I, as soon as I start upping them, I start to notice the same effects with aniracetam and oxyracetam. Again, aniracetam is much more smooth. I really do like it. And at some point when I take a lot of these, my brain gets functioning great, but I just really don't like the way I feel. Some people will talk about um, it pushes the distractions away. Well, it turns my sex drive off, so the whole um, female distractions turned off, which is, I guess, kind of good, but I want to flow as like a normal human being, and it kind of is weird not having that. Like, what if you were going to go meet the love of your life or something? You never, you never know what's going to happen, and then all of a sudden, you're just totally not the same person. I don't know, that's just something to think about, but again, under the right circumstances, it's very good. These things are very, very impressive for getting your brain working, but for me, I'm just very, very hesitant to take them because of the side effects that I get. I just kind of feel a little weird, and I don't like it. But anyways, guys, that's kind of been my rundown of aniracetam and oxyracetam. Um, if I was going to retry some more, I would definitely try the aniracetam at a lower dose. I've heard somebody said that they took oxyracetam after barely sleeping and it was one of the only things that woke them up. So maybe uh, emergency oxyracetam for some people. And again, um, feel free to comment down below. I'm sure a lot of people have a lot of different experiences with it. From doing my research, I actually really, really want to try paracetam. Now people make it seem like paracetam is like the first racetam that was discovered in my opinion. I really like uh, phenylparacetam. Some people say they take paracetam for like five years straight. You do need to take a higher dose of paracetam versus like oxyracetam or aniracetam, but I don't know, maybe they're doing something or like they're altering it in some way that it just doesn't work with my body. So I'd be very interested to try paracetam. And it's so interesting that people label it as kind of like the weakest one. You know, there's like much stronger ones out there now, but it might end up being the best. And for me, I absolutely love phenylparacetam. So it's amazing. If I had started with the other ones, I probably would have never tried the phenylparacetam, which is probably my favorite. Overall nootropic is just absolutely my favorite. So anyways, guys, this is my experience with um, aniracetam and oxyracetam. Not the best for me, but I will be trying and dabbling a little bit more in the future and trying them out. So anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers. I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.